Welcome back to another episode of the Squadcast. Today, hopefully things look a lot better. I have put some money into some programs, hoping things look better, kind of make things a little more visually pleasing, which which makes me relax a little more because I, I struggle a little bit when it comes to things not being in like full quality and all that. So I, I hope you like it. Uh, today, I'm gonna try a few different things, uh, go through some different things. But the first topic uh, is something a few people have asked about before um, on the show. People are like, hey, you have been game hunting for a long time you've got you got to have some fun stories some weird stories maybe horror stories uh, i have a whole bunch uh today i'll bring up one because i kind of want to save them for other videos i want to do some other things on the show today as well uh just to kind of have some fun and mix things up for my own personal sanity oh my gosh i miss going out and game hunting uh the first one comes to us from an episode a long time ago uh, from the old channel retro liberty to where ricky and i and andy and a couple other guys we were just game hunting hanging out and all of a sudden we hear this loud voice start getting angry and I'm like oh, what's happening here I have the video queued up I'm going to show you guys out of nowhere there's no context for this because these people just started arguing and supposedly the guy there's two guys supposedly one guy pushed the other guy's mother and it became a big ordeal so I'm going to flip into this and it's I think it's at the nine minute 30 mark so let's check this out okay I'm going to go right here to nine minutes 30 seconds let's watch it there it is let's watch it together don't push my mother out of the way. Her. I was bending over trying to get around her. You didn't give me a chance to even move. Uh, it's, uh, get the out. I was trying to bend around you. Get the out of here. I swear I'll don't, kill you. Don't you dare. I swear I'll kill you. And the way he said it too was like actual like I'm going to kill you. Like angry. Not just like I'm going to kill you bro. You here. think I won't? You zip it up. You're nothing. Zip it up. You're nothing. You're the lint on my. <laughs> I forgot about that. He says you're the lint on my male anatomy. What? Would you stop it? Stop try it. me. Try stop me, it. mother. Look. Try me. Look, Michael, stop it. Michael. No, I'll kill him. No, stop it right now. You don't ever touch my mother. Stop you got it. me. I try. You got me. Myself. Right. You. You, you pushed my mother. I barely touched her. Oh, you her. think I care? I remember this moment too, getting like actual anxiety at some point because I was like, this is the kind of guy that seems like he's going to go off the deep end if he punches this guy. Not, not like it's going to be just like a punch. Like, <laughs> I feel like he's going to be the type of guy that punches and then ends up just pummeling this guy to death. I mean, there's a height difference there too as well. Any good games? Double feature. I said any good games. I forgot about that. I was still game hunting, apparently. Who's okay, coming? Old man, oh, have a good time. Good. Good. Yeah. good. You're I'm a big good. self. You gotta try me. All right. Take a swing. Let me kill you. Come on. Come Mom's on. Mom's calling for help. You're real tough. Come on. You have no idea. Than me. Oh, and you what fat you mother. They called you her pushed my mother. That last I stop barely it. touched her. her. She's, She's crippled. crippled. Oh, okay. She's crippled, you oh, stupid. Get me! Brush your teeth. Hey. Brush your teeth. Hey. 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 hey, you guys cut it out. Excuse me. Would you like that little in your mother? I know. But he said he wasn't trying to. Right. Go have another drink, okay? Okay. All right? I want to stop. To calm down, go I have a drink. Man. This guy was threatening. Oh, you, you pushed your, What's going on here? He pushed my mother and almost knocked her down. That's where we uh, ended with that part. But man, that that was one of those moments where it became a big thing on our old show, Retro Liberty, where people would say, like, take a swing, let me kill you. Chris Hurley, our old cameraman, still says that to this day. <laughs> Just, uh, it was one of those moments where I was like, you never know what you're going to see game hunting. It was one of those moments that didn't have anything to do with us per se. But the funniest thing of all of that is the guy who was the aggressive one, the taller gentleman. I just called him a gentleman. I don't even know why. Uh, the taller man. We talked to him like two booths down before this. And he was telling us that he was genuinely collecting stuff for his SpongeBob SquarePants collection. So it was interesting to see all that play out. And, uh... I have a lot of more stories, but I'll save them for other videos uh, just because, you know, I want to have more stuff to talk about. I want to do something completely different, okay? I never talk about, like, anything that's, like, kind of current or happening with gaming, but I'm going to do it today because I want to. So you, you can't judge me. Uh, uh, I'm going to go through a couple things that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, one of the biggest ones was this right here. It is... A DuckTales, a Monster Boy dev shows off, ducks shows off the duct 
Can I talk? The Monster Boy dev shows off the DuckTales game it pitched to Disney. I guess they apparently posted this on Twitter. And the funny thing is, is they posted it on April 1st. So it kind of became like an April Fool's thing, but a lot of people were really excited for it. I mean, if you look at these pictures, good lordy be, these pictures look absolutely fantastic. They look beautiful. That reminds me a lot of Darkwing Duck actually on the NES right there. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Uh, but what's weird with them posting it on there, some people were like, hey, is this a joke? Is it not a joke? People still weren't sure. There's even people out there who still aren't sure. But all in all, what ended up happening, it looks like that they actually pitched this, the Monster Boy devs pitched this to Disney and Disney did say no. So they followed up saying after everybody was like, hey, was this a joke? Was this real? Did you guys actually make this? This is a real thing. Is it happening? They posted saying, thank you for the overwhelming feedback on our DuckTales quack shot screens. We worked hard on a legit pitch to Disney, but unfortunately never got the license. It would have been a shame to bury the material so it became this year's hashtag april fools maybe someday disney will reconsider look at this look at this oh my gosh that is wow that's beautiful yeah if you've played monster boy you've seen uh you've seen the style of graphics it's kind of in that vein but man i think it looks beautiful i think it looks awesome uh so it wasn't technically an april fools joke there was definitely some confusion even for me uh, especially not having twitter i found this on the internet like a, a, a day ago uh trying to kind of keep up with things just through Google search because I don't do social media stuff. Uh, so I wish that was true, uh, that it was actually happening, but it's not. But hey, they tried. Hopefully it can happen. Maybe Disney will do it. Uh, another one that I thought was interesting, very big time, uh, IGN to host Summer of Gaming digital, digital event in June. IGN has announced it will hold a digital summer gaming event in early June, aiming to fill the programming gap left by E3's cancellation due to COVID-19. By the way, for those of you who don't know, uh, COVID-19 did shut down E3, but they will be back uh, in 2021. So we're not getting anything this year. I was kind of confused. Like maybe we'll get something this year from them. Maybe they'll give us like, I don't know what it could be, just some sort of like end of the year presentation or like a catch up routine. But no, they basically came out yesterday or today and said, we're just going to give you guys an E3, uh, like a new style of E3 in 2021. So that's that's when we're going to get that. Uh, but look, they got partners supporting the event include Square Enix, Sega, Bandai Namco, Amazon, Google, Twitter, Devolver Digital and THQ Nordic. Uh, with publisher presentation planned alongside IGN, led content such as interviews, demos, and discussions. So that's interesting. It's like, is this going to be some sort of like new breed of E3? Maybe like an E3 replacer? Is that what they're looking to do? It's cool. I know IGN doesn't necessarily have the trust of everybody these days. IGN doesn't necessarily have a lot of the support and the backbone of the community like it used to. So I'm curious if this is going to be like praised or loved or if people are going to be like, this is kind of stupid. We don't really care. I don't know what people are going to think, whatnot, but we'll see. Last one. I love this. Did you guys remember this lady a long time ago? Uh, the 87 year old grandma who had 3,500 plus hours in Animal Crossing town on her DS. I think it was her DS. Uh, I just saw today she got she got Nintendo Switch. She got Animal Crossing for the Switch. Of course I got an ad. Of course I got a darn ad. Either way, I think that's really cool. Just wanted to mention that that lady was one of those sweet old souls who who makes you know old people seem cool. I like old people. I, I never had any grandparents growing up, you know? So I've always had a little special place in my heart because I never got that love. Actually, my tattoo, I got a tattoo. I don't know how I'm going to show it. I have a tattoo right here of a, a radio because an old lady that she was kind of like my grandma, even though she wasn't my grandma, she would always give me a radio every Christmas, you know, in place of it. I wish I could show you guys this lady a little more, but, you know, I don't want to watch this ad. That's it. Let me know. Do you guys want to see me talk about stuff like this at all? I got nothing else to do. Please help me. I don't know what else I'm going to do in my life. It's it's sad and frightening. I'm bored. I'm very bored. I played with my kids already. I hung out with my wife. My wife's out with her girlfriends doing a social distancing coffee meetup in a parking lot. And uh, I went and ran today. Played video games. I did chores. I built something for my kids. I mean, I... I I'm out of stuff to do. Hope you got, hopefully you guys like these. Let me know. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching this episode of the Squadcast. How do I, how do I stop recording on this one? It's a new machine.